Hi, today I'm going to uh, show you how to get some extra life out of your nickel metal hydride batteries that may have fallen below their charging threshold. And uh, you might think that when they get to that point, you're going to um, throw them out and recycle them. But in this case, what I noticed is that there's a little trick you can use to get a little bit of extra life out of these. Now this is a 1.2 volt, 2500 milliamp battery, but it has fallen below the threshold of where the charger will accept it. So if I put it on my charger, what you'll see is that I just get a null on this last screen right here. Normally this would be showing me the uh, charging statistics. It would show me how much uh, voltage is going into that battery. But here I have nothing and that's because it's below a certain threshold where the charger will accept it. So what you can do is apply the same trick to these as you would a car battery that's fallen uh, below its charge. And when you jump start a car with a dead battery, you connect positive to positive and then ground to ground. And what you can do is do the same thing with these. Now I have a fully charged Duracell battery here, also 1.2 volts, 2500 milliamps, same rating. I actually don't recommend this particular brand of battery. I've had uh, pr pretty much every single one of these fail on me. What I do recommend is these. These are great. I haven't had any of these uh, show me that behavior or display that problem. So what I found was easiest is I take a pair of barbecue tongs which are metal and will conduct current all the way through from one side to the other. And then what I'll do is I'll take these two batteries and I'll actually connect the two negative sides together. I only do this because these are flat and it makes a really good solid surface and what you do is you take your two batteries and then you connect them together with your barbecue tongs just like that okay and just let them sit there for about 30 seconds so right now that Duracell battery is actually putting a charge on the second one now that charge is not controlled and when you're charging nickel metal hydride it's, it's kind of a, a good thing to have some smarts in your charger and we're not applying that right now but we're only going to do this for about 30 seconds and no more okay there we go that should be about enough Okay, take our good battery and we're done with that. And now when I take my drained nickel metal hydride, I put that in the charger. And what you'll see is it's charging up. There it goes. And that will continue its charge cycle. And when it's done, I'll be able to use that battery again. And what I'll need to do is just make sure that I don't uh, let that battery sit there and uh, drain below that threshold again or I'll have to apply that trick, but it's so fast that uh, it's a great way to, to get some extra life out of your batteries that are displaying that problem until you uh, invest in some decent ones. So that's it. Hope that helps you out. Thanks a lot.